Hello and welcome back to my Cheat Engine tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find collision addresses, collision modifiers, um, essentially how to walk through enemies. Uh, and I'll be using the Cheat Engine game step three uh, tutorial for demonstration purposes. Um, but this works on emulators, it works on online games. Um, just kind of be creative with it and, and see what you can come up with. Uh, so currently I'm standing here. I'm not taking any damage. My default settings, I'm on four bytes, so I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Um, let's go ahead and do a first scan for four bytes. And whenever I take damage, I'm going to look for the value of one. And essentially what we're doing is we're looking for a flag. That flag gets turned either on or off. Either I'm being hit or I'm not being hit. All right, so... I'm going to go ahead and set my value to 1, and then I'm going to get hit, and I'm going to search that real quick. Okay, and now that I'm back, I'll search 0 again, and I'll do this a couple times. Okay, so now I'm left with around 67 results, and it doesn't look like that's changing. So a lot of things actually happen whenever I get hit. Let me come over here and pause this real quick. So first off, my character disappears. And then I have all these little animation sprites running all over the place. And then there's also some stuff going on in the background, like my players being reset, uh, my coordinates are being reset, and then everything gets set back to zero. But if you look, as soon as I get hit, all of these addresses are turning to one, except for this guy. Let's go ahead and filter him out. But all these addresses are essentially staying the same. So I'm going to add all these to my address uh, list down here. And we're just going to play with these addresses for a moment. Now I know that the majority of these are going to have to have something to do with just the pure animation here. Because each thing runs its own little uh, instruction. So let me start this back up. And what I want to do is I just want to find what accesses uh, some of these addresses. So just to save time, I will typically open... Uh, three or four of these at the same time. Let me just move the main window out of the way and let me go get hit and see what happens. All right, so all these dresses pop up and they all look pretty much the same. So I know that all of these instructions here can't be my collision address or my collision value. So I'm going to skip over these for now. Let me scroll all the way down to the bottom and we'll try this again. Now, typically what we'll do is we'll look for a compare against a zero or a one. So all of those values that we were just seeing or those instructions don't really mean a whole lot to us right now. We're looking for values like this, this uh, byte compare. So let's open a few of these up. All right, so now let's go back and look. Now this one here looks like those other addresses, a whole bunch of instructions going on. I'm going to negate that one. Um, same thing over here, kind of looks the same way, just a bunch of little uh, random instructions. But these guys over here are interesting because we've got something always comparing uh, my value to zero. And then we kind of have the same thing going on over here. So. These look interesting. These look like something I might be able to work with. So typically what I'll do is I'll just go to an address. Never use the replace here because you can't undo it. All right, go into the disassembler and replace with code that does nothing. Okay, obviously that's not it. Let's restore the original code on that. Let's look at uh, this guy here. And we'll do the same for that. Replace with code that does nothing. Let's get hit and see what happens. Nothing happens. So essentially, as it stands, I've already found my value. Um, so what I can do now that I've found that is set a script just to turn on and off. So let's restore that with the original code. I'm going to do Control A to bring up the auto assembler. And I'll just do an array of bytes injection. Take all the defaults there. And essentially, all we're doing is replacing this address with an address that does nothing. Well, the easiest way to do that in a script is just comment it out. So now let's assign that to our cheat table and close this out. We can close all this other stuff too. 
And let's go ahead and get rid of all these addresses we've been working with. And if I run into somebody right now, I'm just going to die like normal. But if I click my little box here, then I'm now invincible. So what we can do is we can just call this step three invincibility. And we'll give this a hotkey. We'll just call it create hotkey one and hit apply. That way now whenever I hit the one key, I can just toggle that on and off. So right now it's on and now it's off. So very simple um, demonstration. Of course, this can be more complex in, in bigger games, but this is essentially the idea. A lot of times it's easier to search for ones and zeros than it is to find complex values. A simple on and off flag will do the trick most of the time. So thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. See you on the next one.